Hey guys, so this next video is going to be my quick review on the Hellcat RDP and uh, my thoughts about it for on, for about a year and putting uh, about probably 2,000 rounds through it, uh, specs and all that kind of stuff. Hope you guys like it. All right, guys, so I'm going to do the video like this so you don't got to stare at my face. Uh, to start off, I'm going to take this off real quick and clear the firearm. All right. So again, review on the Hellcat RDP. So RDP stands for the Rapid Defense Package. So the Rapid Defense Package is talking about this here red dot. This is the hex. Um, as you can see, that co-witnesses pretty well with those iron sights. Uh, the iron sights themselves, they're called tritium U dots. So you have a tritium front sight and then a U dot on the back. And uh, part of the rapid defense package, it's also talking about this self-indexing compensator. I'll go over that in a second. Um, with the RDP, when you buy it, you end up getting uh, two separate magazines. Uh, you have your 13-round magazine and your 11-round magazine. Um, they do have models of this that are for low capacity, in case you're in places like Washington or Oregon where you're not allowed to have anything more than 10 anymore. They do sell this model uh, firearm with those 10 and under magazines. So with your 11 round magazine here, as you can see, you have that. You can switch this out. It does come with a flush mount. So if you don't want that extra little gap there um, with the flush mount uh, base plate on there, you're looking at a total height from magazine well to the top of the red dot at four inches with your 13 round magazine which is this one here you're looking at a height from top of red dot to the bottom of the base plate of 4.5 inches and then if you're lucky enough before the law went into effect or you're in a nice state you can get your 15 round magazine from height uh, top to bottom there, you're looking about four point, uh, four, four and three quarter inches with that 15 round magazine. Now the Hellcat RDP does come in nine millimeter. Uh, I don't believe it comes in anything else yet. Uh, so it's a nine millimeter pistol. Um, originally came with this hex red dot sight here. Um, they have had some issues with it. I had to get mine replaced um, with it not actually doing the runtime. And the battery was dying in about a week because this does stay on at all times. Um, it is supposed to run for 65,000 hours, which comes out to, I think, like seven years, something like that. Um, the new ones, uh, they come with the Shield SMSC Red Dot. It's a 4 MOA Red Dot. Uh, haven't taken a look at those, so I don't know what to talk about on there. Um, again, one thing I like about this, so the hex red dot, it's 6061 aluminum, and it allows that co-witness with your iron sights. That way, if your red dot dies, breaks, whatever, you can still shoot it. It comes with a self-indexing compensator. By self-indexing, it means there's no extra tools needed to actually get this attached to your pistol. So I'm going to take it off real quick, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually put on. Okay. So you take it off, you have a threaded barrel. This barrel is a 3.8 inch, 3 .8 inch hammer, forged, hammer forged barrel. Now for the self-indexing compensator, see at the bottom of the barrel, you have that little notch right there. Well, that's what this little button here sets on. Okay, so to put this on, you depress your little indent on the bottom of the compensator. You screw it in. Keep screwing, keep screwing, keep screwing. And once you feel it have resistance, you back it half a turn back, press the button again, and now you do all the way to completion. And then once you have it to that point, to self-index it, you just back it back, and then you hear that click. It is self-indexing, zero. Don't gotta worry about anything. Uh, breakdown for this pistol. Um, with that, I'm gonna take this compensator back off just for a quick breakdown um, with the compensator on you can't get the barrel out so you do have to remove that compensator breakdown works just like the um, 
XD, pull the slide to the rear, ensure it's clear, no source of ammo. You're going to flip up the takedown lever. You're going to bring the slide forward. And once it's forward, you pull the trigger. That releases it. Okay. Now, internal here, this is called your, um, oh, what do they call it? Dual captive recoil spring and a rod guide there. So you have two separate springs. And the cool, kind of the cool thing, um, the front of this spring, which sticks onto the outside of the gun, is actually textured with the same uh, stippling as your grip there. Um, I don't know why you'd be putting your finger up there. You shouldn't be, but you have the option. And then to remove the barrel, you just do that. So that is fully stripped down so you can clean it, put it back together as simple as throw that in, throw your guide rod spring, it's set in, and then you ride it back, lock it to the rear, drop the takedown lever, and you're good to go to function check. Okay, um, I would say it's about a three pound trigger. Um, pretty good uptake right there, and solid wall, not a lot of pull through. Um, and it is that like accu trigger system. Um, I'm going to throw the compensator back on just real quick, show you how fast it is. Boom, and bring it back. I'm going to rotate it all the way down. Self index, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so that is the Hellcat RDP. Uh, when you have the fully loaded 11 round magazine in it, you're looking at about 19.3 ounces. Uh, with the 13 round magazine, you're looking at 19.6. I don't have the specs on the 15 round magazine, but um, it's probably no more than another additional three ounces, give or take. Yeah, um, it's a pretty good gun. I've had no issues with this gun. Uh, I've currently have over 2,000 rounds through it. Um, you do get, you know, your normal wear and tear on a firearm. Um, the front of the compensator is a little worn uh, just because it sticks out of my holster. Um, I did have to replace the red dot because it was malfunctioning. It was only running for about a week. Um, I've had this particular one now for four months and it has stayed running. No problem. No battery changes. Um, it is an open system, so you do have the possibility of getting uh, water back there. But I think what they did on the Gen 2s is they solved that problem and made the soldering connections a little more uh, waterproof back there. Uh, pretty good gun. Again, I've had no issues. This is my daily carry. It does have that rail system here. Um, in particular, I run this little uh, P PLR Mini Olight. Um, it just slides in locks on now i have my good light on there uh and i carry the 15 round uh magazine even for my concealed carry uh it doesn't print too much uh when it comes to the recoil uh with that compensator um i would say it recoils less than my full frame 40 um partially you know the four full frame 40 the xd it has a little more weight behind it, but for a micro compact is what they're calling it. Um, running this compensator makes it recoil uh, similarly to a large compact to a small for, uh, full frame. Uh, again, I like the gun. I've had no issues with it. It's pretty accurate. And I think the biggest thing that turned me on about it, I was always worried about an optic. I like that option of being able to co-witness and be able to shoot with my iron sights or my red dot. Um, depending on it. Uh, this rid, this one, uh, the hex is also auto dimming, has two different settings. Um, during the daylight, it is going to be a little bit brighter as you can tell. And let me see if I can get it to actually actuate. If I cover, I'm not going to be able to do it and you guys be able to see it. Um, but when it's not getting uh, direct sunlight, it dims itself. That way at night, you're not having an overbleed of that red dot on there. Anyways, this is the Hellcat RDP Rapid Defense Package from Springfield. Hope you guys liked it. Got any questions, uh, let me know. I'll throw a couple short clips of me shooting it here at the end. And hopefully I'll get some more range time on it and give you a little more review on it.